Hi legends, welcome back. Today, oh my god, I don't have my ring. Today, we're going to be watching the most controversial episodes of Girl Meets World. I got this idea because a couple clips of Girl Meets World popped up on my Twitter recently and it just does not look good. The things they said, naughty naughty. <laughs> they're not good would not recommend so we're gonna watch these episodes together see if the whole episode is offensive or if it's just those moments but i feel like it was just very bad execution on disney's part and i don't know who okayed these scripts before we get into what episodes we will be watching though feel free to check me out on my socials subscribe and if you want to see the full length reactions to these episodes they will be available down below on my patreon Okay, so apparently season two, the writers were just unhinged because this is where I found all of the controversial episodes. We have season two, episode 24, Girl Meets Belief. Then we have season two, episode 15, Girl Meets I Am Farkle. I think everyone's seen that very controversial clip on social media regarding Farkle from this show. C, when you mess with atoms or human beings, they blow up. Belgium 1831. <laughs> right now. 31. And once I know that, I'll know everything. And then my name goes on the board with those three idiots. See, I never... See, I kind of missed this show as I kind of aged out when this show first started airing. Like, it wasn't really my priority at the time. But it's so wild to me that Sabrina Carpenter's in this show. It just feels like a completely different life for her. I scored in the superior range. And my aptitude test is I should consider a... Aptitude test? Is this divergent? Oh my god, you're divergent, Farku! <laughs> he needs to hide and not tell anyone that he scored as divergent. Yes. When someone scores this high, the experts usually want to confirm the test. <gasps> Don't fall for it, Farku, you're divergent! To react to your score in any way that might make your friends feel inferior, of less value, like dum dum. They deserve it, honestly, from what I've seen. They deserve to be dum dums. They are dum dums. Okay. I can't lie, I feel like this theme song kind of slaps. Moments later. Okay, maybe this song isn't as good as I remembered. Like, it's cute. But that's as far as it goes, actually. Never mind. My opinion's changed. What? I like her now. She's a lot less scary than she was in high school. Uh-huh. Are you not looking at her? I think he's looking at her in a different way. Because I understand, sir. Thanks for having me, Mom. <laughs> Anytime, you know. <laughs> Literally. Riley Matthews. Yes. Would you? Absolutely. Do me the honor. Anytime at all. Of becoming. Whatever you She's want. She's so yes. down bad. Yes. Still having trouble with the hugging okay. thing, aren't you? <laughs> the average middle schooler spends nine. Is Smackle a potential love interest for Farkle, or is Smackle Farkle's sister? God, that was a mouthful. Smackle here to mock my recent membership into the Genius Club. On the contrary, Farkle, I welcome you with open arms. Ha ha ha. They don't like human contact. Same. Twinsies. One of my least favourite things. Only one person I don't mind, but the rest? It physically pains me sometimes. But if you get called something enough, don't you start believing it? Believe in what you contribute to others. <laughs> I'm sorry, this isn't bad messaging. It's just funny in the Disney way because it's so spoon-fed to you, which I understand because it's a kid's network, but it is funny to listen to when you get older. So just be yourself. It's the only label that matters. Oh my god. Oh my god. Life changing. This is like when I was pulled aside by my school and they called me out just to tell me that they thought I was dyslexic. I'm not. They were wrong. Or I'm in denial. <laughs> Imagine. What? They just noticed Farkle's a little funny. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. They want to see if I have autism. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Let's go tell them you don't. I might have a type of autism called Asperger's syndrome. You don't. <laughs> That he really hated the fact that he could be autistic. This is the funniest, most awful piece of media. And Maya in this was so adamant that he's not autistic. She's like, you're definitely not. No, cannot be true. Like, my guys, it's not that deep. He's still a person. Being autistic doesn't take away from your value as a person. Which is crazy the way they react. It's so weird. That's who you are. <laughs> no matter what anybody says. <laughs> they were so unserious. That's how you're going to react to someone being told they're autistic. I promise that's not the way you need to react. They were so unhinged for that. Whoever wrote that as well. Like, the grown adult that wrote that script needs to get help. They need to be checked. Because 
if that's how you think it's the appropriate way to react to someone telling you they're autistic seek help yourself please maybe you need to do some changing just was handled so poorly the messaging of that is almost like it's not okay to be autistic the way especially maya goes at farkle for saying he's possibly autistic she's like you're not no you're farkle and maybe he's autistic who cares he just has a different way of experiencing the world does it matter no it's just a little extra thing to note about him maybe be more mindful around him that was so poorly done so poorly executed and it's funny because this show is supposed to be about teaching lessons to kids in how to go about life and they did this one so poorly and it's such an important one because it's coming out more and more that so many more people are autistic and then to have this episode it just does not look good and it isn't a good look Can you please give us one of your wonderful little riley pick me up whatever happens not them being so bad they're really dwelling on this how dare he be autistic Ugh, disgusting Ugh, gross list symptoms of asperger's uh the first one they mention is social awkwardness check you don't do anything awkward what's wrong <sighs> oh, you're gonna stop doing that he's gonna stop doing that <sighs> Narr- guys whatever this is i got it and I need you to let that be okay. Yeah, like, back Some off. People ask- Farkle? People who aren't Farkle? Hey, Smackle. Stop smothering me. <laughs> okay. She's just correct. I know she's right. Like, yes, tell Blondie to shut up. <laughs> two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Why Four eyes. eyes. <laughs> I can say that. Yeah, I can bully other people that wear glasses. You're not safe here. Like you in that blazer, hunk. H-U-N-K, hunk. Uh, could you use that in a sentence, please? You look great in that blazer, hunk. Ooh, they're laying on thick. God. This is like proper flirting. Like, they've got game in their own little way, and I respect it. It's somewhat cuter than traditional flirting. You were holding my hand. Oh my god. Is that okay? Thank you, Isadora. Wait, her actual name's Isadora? That's the biggest plot twist of this episode. Isadora? Where did Smackle come from? Also, definitely not siblings. <laughs> that was a whole siblings or dating moment. Definitely not. Thank God. I don't have Asperger's. But they also said they don't know what to make of me. <laughs> I'm Farkle. Okay, cool. So he's not autistic in the show or am I dumb? Because I thought that would have been great for the episode. The whole point of it was to accept it. And like for the kids to not be so against it. The only label you should wear is your name. Let your actions define you. Because there's another spectrum. Look, I'm not being mean, but these lessons couldn't care less what he's teaching them. He does not have that engaging teacher moment. I just kind of want to sit there and laugh at his face, even though he's saying something that's valid. He just has that kind of face. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sure you were great in Boy Meets World. This is your name. That's who you are. I just think these lines are very too on the nose and kind of cringy. I hate the word cringy because I don't think anything's cringy, but that's the only word I can think of to describe it. Hey, monster. Yeah. You don't scare me anymore. Wow. I thought that was supposed to have a bigger impact than it did. Maybe if I'd seen the OG show, it would. Kind of funny. But just something about him. I am I just feel so mean saying that, but it's just not catching me. Why? Because he doesn't have Asperger's like you. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. She called her out. Oh my God. Isadora, I don't think there's anybody we respect more than you. I'm not like everybody else. Okay, but who wants that? Okay, <gasps> gross. That so comfortable. The ladies. Oh my god. Sparkle, He's such Maya a player. Francis. He's got Smackle, three Maya women, Francis, three wives. Riley, Maya, my wives were- Absolutely playing the field here. Oh, you showed me understanding and compassion. Of course. Please let me do the same. Ooh. May I hug you? Okay, I thought they were gonna kiss. I was like, this is intense. They're gonna kiss? Disney Channel show? And they're not even the main characters? Wild. Did she ask? You just won't <laughs> give up, will you? It would actually be great if all along he did like her. That would have been kind of iconic. Brother, this friendship group's giving cult the way they all talk to each other. We, we, we. What about I? What about me? Okay, next up we're gonna watch Girl Meets Belief. I believe it's <laughs> a bit of a, like a religious based episode where they talk about religion and how you should believe what you want to believe, but it's a bit mixed with that kind of 
I love explaining things. I'm so good at it. What a great day! Looky here. What should we buy? We're not buying anything. That money is not yours. This is where our friendship ends. Right here, right now. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Maya, somebody dropped that. Who? Name? Whose is it? Whose? I'll take any whose. I'll take. I'm on her side. Just take it and go. I would. Am I an awful person? Maybe. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Yeah. Mm. In God we trust. Seriously. In God we trust. <laughs> she went religious with it. Ross, how about I do what I do and you do what you do? That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how the world is. You have to let other people do what they want to do and just let them believe in their beliefs. Unless it's like becoming harmful. Riley. Girly! Oh no. What a great day! Deserved, honestly, from Riley. Be a dumbass and get dumbass rewards. Riles, it was just a coincidence I happened to find it. Can you leave it alone? There are no coincidences, Maya. D it's a miracle Riley in this has a big group of friends. Somebody here needs to learn a lesson. <laughs> yeah, and that person is Riley. Not everyone needs to believe what you believe. Now, I want you two girls to really learn something from Jefferson. Ah, boo! <laughs> Maya is the only one that's like realistic and it's very relatable so far. Some days are hard. You're four. What's hard about being four? You can't put the puzzle together properly? Boo hoo! Cry me a river. Okay, I understand. Good night. Can you see me from up there? Dumbass! He fell for the oldest trick in the book. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> if I saw a kid talking to something that wasn't there, get rid of the whole child, they're leaving, pack their bags, they're gone. Not having them talking to some spirits up in the ceiling. Uh-uh, all were moving house. But that's not acceptable, should not be allowed. Like, Topanga out here is just accepting that he's probably talking to God in her mind or some sort of sane angel kind of thing. But what if it's not? What if it's a demon? What if it has ill intent? The Conjuring, has anyone seen that in this universe? Clearly not. You need to believe in things. I might if my life was as hunky-dory as yours. Hmm, yes, cool her out. I'm here for Riley slander. Your freak face is just a collection of cells and bone structure that was randomly and somehow so perfectly put together that if there was a force that did that for you, I'll tell you right now, he hates me. <laughs> How if I as an actor had to say that line, I would cry, scream, cry, throw up, never be on set again. I bet that's what you writers think of me. What I believe? All wrong. I really respect how you and your your scientific mind- Pause. What's really ironic so far about this episode is that the non-believers are just stating what they're believing, but they're not really kind of pushing it onto the others. Whereas like the religious two in this, I believe they're both religious, are really kind of pushing it on to Farkle and Maya, like they're in the wrong for not believing, and they're kind of being like patronising about it to their friends. Like no wonder why they don't want to join them and believe when they're talking down to them like this. Yes. We want to switch teams. No can do, kids. Once you make teams, there's no switching back because what I say goes because I have a whistle. I thought she was going to say because I'm a white man. <laughs> but Disney wouldn't. They only enforce beliefs onto kids watching. I just need a break. From what? From you and all these things you believe. Fair enough, girly. Riley is being a lot. And she seems to be a lot in a lot of these episodes. That's a lot of a lot. <laughs> Oh, they're so lame. <laughs> but so me coded. Something I would definitely do. I'm just not the type of person that likes to be pushed, you know? Which is fair enough. You don't have to be pushed into believing anything. Are you okay? Why are your eyes wide open? Because he's talking to spirits. Because there's a demon in his room. This is not something for you to be worried about, okay? Okay. Then I won't. Mamsie's out here talking to spirits and they're like, nothing to worry about, it's fine, go on with your day, all good, all giggles, hee hee hee. I'm convinced this child is speaking to demons. Do you pray? All the time. And that's sort of amazing. Greedy. <laughs> yes, come for her neck. Why won't everybody just believe everything I believe? Because that's not how the world works. Marco, I thought men of science were open to new discoveries. 
<laughs> not the like again they're missing the message of this episode because i feel like he's just gonna go on and tell farkle that basically he's wrong and has to kind of believe in religion like how riley wants all of her friends to believe in religion but that's just not true oh my god my camera's dying <sighs> but yeah it's really funny because the, the whole message should be that it's okay that they don't believe in what riley says like he even starts off his conversation is if he's about to tell her that it's ridiculous for her to assume that everyone's going to believe in what she believes in and that's not okay. But I think he's going the other way where he's going to actually validate Riley in thinking that it's not okay for everyone to believe what she believes. <sighs> they really lost the plot with this show. Like, it almost makes the point it should make and then they completely go off the track. Okay, I'm right or okay, you're actually going to Take a deep to... breath, Farkle. Now that air that you just breathed in. Yeah, they're that literally saying... That Riley is correct in this episode. That everyone should believe what she believes. I like to think of that as a part of God refracted. Aspects of God that I can see. Like, cool and all, but that is your belief. And it doesn't have to be Maya's or Farkle's belief. I'm in your daughter's room? Yeah. <sighs> I thought they'd like him because he also is like a religious boy. But... Yeah, that whole speech by... I don't even know his name. I haven't even caught it yet. But this whole speech he did was kind of saying it's okay to believe in your own beliefs as long as they align with our beliefs. Which is very messy. And before that, the kids were actually having quite a constructive conversation about their opposing beliefs. And that was quite good. I didn't mind that. But then he came in and it's quite funny that the adult here kind of put a halt to that conversation and he just shat on their whole parade. Just Please, to say goodnight, bud. let's cleanse this room for him. He is being tormented by a demon. Oh, I wasn't praying. I mean, hell yeah. I pray. <laughs> hell. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Wait, so Augie, who have you been talking to? Yeah, a spirit. Swarsky. Oh, see, that was the other episode we were going to cover. That was the teacher that dies in episode two of this season. And I know that because I've seen clips from that episode. Technically, I'm not wrong. He was speaking to a spirit. Not a demon, but she was an elderly lady. Maybe she had some demonic energy. I don't know. Kind of girl slay if she did, though. See? Was not talking to God. They just assumed he was because of their beliefs. And they're so stuck in their beliefs that they couldn't see anything outside of it. That is a little bit dangerous. He strongly believes that in a truly free society, religion should be a personal choice. Okay, good. Okay, they're ending it on a good note. Well, you went on a pretty good journey for five bucks, didn't you? I was going to say, get that coin going. But okay, messaging. They did something, I guess. But that was quite nice. You were in my prayer last night too. And my mom. They converted Maya. Nothing wrong with that, but I feel like she was kind of bullied into it this episode. Nothing. I would never bug him about me. Gee. I always bug him about me. Are we surprised? I like what you believe, Maya. Well, yeah, because she believes what you believe now. That episode was very flippy floppy in the fact that it kept diving between what it was saying they wanted them all to believe in and then them believing in their own things and that being okay and then not being okay. And it was just kind of... The whole thing came around to it not being okay for Maya or Farkle to believe in what they believed in. And it was just so wishy-washy the entire time and it was so poorly executed. And I don't even feel like they were meant to execute it in the way that they should have. Because there was some clear intent there with the fact that they ended the episode with Maya believing in the same beliefs as Riley and they never explicitly said it was okay for Maya to believe in her own thing if it's not religious. Because they were kept going on about being okay to believe in your own thing in a very subliminal way, but in regards to religion. But without it, they weren't fans. <sighs> That's the end of these controversial episodes. Let me know if there's any more I should check out. They're quite interesting to talk about and they do spark a good conversation. But that's it from me. I'm gonna go now. Have a nice rest of your day and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.